Hi, this is Dean, and this is the Combat Fist. Uh, go again. This is the Combat Fist session. For fuck's sake. This is the Combat Fit Sessions channel, um, and in today's video, I'm going to talk you through a dumbbell full body workout. Okay, so if you're somebody who's advanced from bodyweight exercises, then today we're going to be hitting dumbbells and fairly light dumbbells as well because the repetitions and the rep range is going to be a lot higher. The dumbbells you need, so if you've got dumbbells at home and you've got ones from going up to 10, then ideally, if you're going to use a one kilogram, then you want a one kilogram and then also a two kilogram. If you're using a two kilogram as your lowest, then you want a two kilogram and then also a set of four kilogram. Or obviously if you're using four as your lowest, then you want an eight. So you just want to double your weight, so you've got two sets, two pairs of dumbbells and one of them is doubled. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button if you want to learn how to lose weight. Alright, so first exercise of the workout and that is squat curl into an Arnold press. Uh, the reason we're doing this is just to get the full body warm ready for the rest of the workout. So to do this, we're just going to squat down, so you want your feet shoulder width apart with your toes pointing slightly outwards. Push your hips back, you're going to squat down. As you squat down, at the same time you're going to curl the dumbbells in towards your shoulders and then press them above your head by turning your hands outwards away from your body. And we're going to be using the heavier dumbbells and performing 15 reps and you're going to repeat that three times. So the second exercise is now a superset and as you can see there are two different pairs of weights and you need the heavier weights for this first exercise because this is going to be targeting your back muscles, so your rhomboids which are just about on your shoulder blades. To do this exercise you're going to pop both feet together, slight bend your knees and then your hips pushed right back so that your body is pretty much flat parallel to the floor. Uh, from there, you're going to drag the dumbbells back uh, towards your hips, trying to bring your elbows behind your back. Okay, Don't focus on pulling and bending your elbows straight away, you want to shrug them back Okay, and squeezing your back muscles. And on this exercise, there are 20 reps. From there, we're going to move straight into the next exercise without any rest, and this one is called the bent over reverse fly. And this is going to target the muscle just behind your shoulders. So to do this, you're going to be in the exact same bent over position. And if you notice as well, guys, that I'm, I'm pausing at the bottom, so I'm not allowing any swinging. I want you to start just from the outside of your knees. From there, we're going to drag the dumbbells back behind, okay? Pausing a little bit at the top and squeezing that muscle just behind your shoulders. All right, take your time. 20 reps on this exercise as well. And I want you to repeat both exercises together three times with a little rest in between each set. Moving on to the third exercises, and this again is a superset, um, and I want you to use a heavier dumbbell for both exercises. This one is called the single arm overhead swing. To do this, I want your feet shoulder up apart, and I want you to start with the dumbbell underneath your body between your legs, and you're just going to swing it forward, keeping a slight bend in the elbow, and until the dumbbell is right above your head and that your bicep is level with your ear. From there, you're going to lower the dumbbell on top of your shoulder, and then you're going to throw it over, making a little loop shape with your arm, and then back down into the same position. And I want you to repeat that for 12 repetitions per arm. So once you've done that, you'll just easily just swap over straight into the next exercise of the superset. And this is called wood choppers. You want your palm, one palm facing outwards and the other one facing downwards on top of the dumbbell. And we're going to have a feet shoulder width apart. And all we're going to do is start with the dumbbell towards the side of your hip and then you're going to swing it diagonally across your body towards your ear, to the side of your face. Uh, maintaining a slight bend in both elbows, really using the core muscles, legs and shoulders. Same again, I want you to do on this one though, 15 reps per side and I'd repeat it three times for me. And then obviously once you've done both exercises, have a little bit of a rest, about 45 seconds, and then start the next set. Okay, and now it's going to get tougher. So if you're not already feeling it, you'll definitely be feeling it after this exercise. Uh, this exercise is one on its own, so there's no supersets, and this is called Renegade Press-Ups. So you've either got the easy version, which is on your knees like this, or the harder version, which is knees off the ground. Unlike a normal press-up, which is going to have the legs apart and the balls of your feet, you're then going to lower yourself down, controlled, maintaining a flat back, uh, so your elbows are tucked in, and we want to be using the lighter dumbbells for this as well. From there, you're going to row the dumbbell up as you push yourself up. Slight twist on the core, not too much though, and just squeezing the back muscles. This is going to work your chest, triceps, and back muscles. 10 reps, 3 sets, with a 45 second rest in between. 
And fifth and final exercises of the workout, and we're gonna hit some arms now. And these are really gonna burn. So the first exercise of the superset is bicep curls with a supination. Okay, so in a standing upright position, hands to the side in a hammer position, and all you're gonna do, you're gonna curl the dumbbells up. As you do that, you're gonna twist, and really try to turn that pinky finger in towards your shoulders. Squeezing the biceps and no swing of the elbows on this. And this is gonna work the biceps, which is the front of your arms. From there, without any rest, we're now gonna move on to overhead tricep extensions, which is gonna work the back of the arms. So to do this, same again, standing upright, have the dumbbells in the air, okay, and making a V-shape at the top. From there, keeping your elbows pretty much pinned in, you're gonna lower them towards your shoulder blades and making a, the letter A, so like an A shape, as you can tell now. From there, you're gonna press them up, pushing them together, making the V-shape at the top, squeezing the back of the arms, which is the triceps, and you're gonna repeat that for 15 reps. So 15 reps on the curls, 15 reps on these, and uh, repeat that three times for me with a little 45 second rest in between. So if you're gonna give that workout a go um, and you're a beginner, then do two sets of each exercise. If it's a superset, tricep, or a single exercise on its own, make sure you repeat those exercises twice before going on to the next one. If you're intermediate, then do three sets of each one, and if you're a bit more advanced and you wanna feel that burn a bit more and you're a bit more hardcore, then do four sets per exercise. That workout as a whole, uh, depending on how many sets you do, should take between 10 minutes to around 25 minutes. And between each set, folks, I have about 45 uh, to 60 second rest as well. Don't rest too long, only 45 seconds to 60 seconds, and make sure you time those rests as well. Set a little timer on your phone so it goes off, and uh, so you're not daydreaming or doing God knows what, all right? Making sure that you're getting straight onto the next exercise and the next set. Click the subscribe button if you want more videos like this and also comment below with workouts, exercise videos or anything else you want to see me video for you guys because I'm always here to help and educate everyone. Apart from that, thank you very much. See you in the next video.